Today we're going deep down the rabbit hole and exploring one of the indicators that has had potentially the highest rate of success here in predicting the Bitcoin price. And of course, by extension, predicting the price of almost every single crypto here in the industry. That is of course outside of the gaming cryptos and NFT projects, but we're not gonna go down that rabbit hole today. Today we're talking about something so astoundingly crazy that you would have to see the data to believe it. But because of its accuracy, because of its consistency, it has infiltrated and penetrated even the most data-driven and grounded Bitcoin analysts among us. Today, smash that like button because we're going to be talking about if lunar cycles can accurately predict the price of Bitcoin. Now, this might sound crazy to you, but if there is any way to get an edge in this market, even if it is exploring seemingly crazy cosmic indicators like lunar cycles, well, guess what? We're going to explore that segment of the industry because we don't care where the alpha comes from. We're here to bring you any and all things that can help you get ahead of this market. So if you're excited about that, make sure you smash that like button. And of course, subscribe with that bell notification on if you want to get ahead and stay ahead of this market by any means necessary. With that said, let's dive in. So the question of the day is, can lunar cycles predict the movement of Bitcoin? Now, when it comes to the trading market, there are many different indicators that traders use to perform technical analysis. You have indicators such as NUPL, net unrealized profit and loss. This, of course, is what people use to predict and analyze when there's too much profits in the market, meaning when Bitcoin is moved without people selling for a significant enough period of time, the NUPL can show, hey, look, people can really be taking a lot of profits here. There's a lot of opportunity for people to cash in on gains. And when those net unrealized profit and losses come back down to earth, the selling pressure then magically disappears because you don't have that same greed forcing people to sell. You have more people holding, hoping it goes back up than people selling to cash in on unrealized gains. You also have Fibonacci retracements, RSI, moving averages, moving averages with convergence and divergence, and many, many, many more. As you know, and as you've probably seen on these technical analysis charts, you can have a million different lines and arrows pointing every which way. But what if there was a different indicator? Yes, traders have a Batman's utility belt worth of tools and indicators at their disposal. But what if there was a different indicator? What if there was a single indicator that could reliably show macro pivots in the market? Now, as crazy as this sounds, there is some data here suggesting that the lunar cycles have been accurately predicting Bitcoin's price movements over the last several months to honestly astoundingly accurate levels. Now, full disclaimer, this is not financial advice. This is theoretical. This is a fun exploration of something that you can't help but laugh about when you see how crazy accurate it is the way that the lunar cycles have predicted Bitcoin's behavior. Do not invest based on this. Do not do anything based on this. Just explore this theory with me and take a plunge into what feels almost like the unknown here, and let's explore how the lunar cycles have impacted Bitcoin. Now, first of all, what are lunar cycles? According to the research, lunar cycle strategy is based on buying the new moon and selling the next full moon. So essentially, the new moon initiates a bullish pivot and the full moon initiates a bearish pivot. That is more or less in every two-week cycle that we've seen playing out of the last several months. Now, using lunar cycles in trading, the lunar buy-sell strategy is based on buying the new moon and selling the next full moon, usually 14 to 16 days. We quote here an excerpt from the Bank of Scotland report, if an investor had invested a 1,000 pounds sterling in the FTSE in 1984, he would now have approximately 5,130 pounds sterling by holding the index, which represents the index performance, whereas by trading the FTSE according to the moon phases would make a big difference. First, consider buying the FTSE on the new moon and selling on the full moon. This would result in pounds sterling 12, 116 overall figure for the same period. It means more than double the profits. It's noteworthy that the strategy would have been even more profitable for the DAX and the HSI. This result for the S&P 500 is also higher, but that is because the strategy was applied since 1928. Conversely, buying on the full moon and selling on the new moon would have considerably underperformed the buy and hold strategy. This supports the theory of a correlation between index prices and moon phases. The new moon traditionally symbolizes low energy energy or accumulation, whereas the time of the full moon is a period of fruition, high energy, and spending. Now, there are plenty of debates, of course, that have taken place as to whether or not this is actually effective. However, depending on the stock index, the difference in return of the new moon phase is as high as 10% on average. If you look at SPY, you'll see that trading on lunar cycles could actually benefit the trading signal reverse points and times of potential volatility, like the SPY drop on 9.6, for example. These are research papers and studies done on it. There's even a trading view indicator.
indicator. So as you can see here, it's pretty remarkable when you see here the uh, buying pattern here on the white and the selling on the gray, the gray being the full moon and the white being the new moon. It's pretty astronomical to use a cosmic term here. You can see these price rallies each and every time up to the full moon. It's pretty crazy. Now there have actually been decades of studies conducted to prove that lunar cycles play a significant role in price movement of the traditional stock market. These results have been quite interesting to say the least. A Market Watch article detailed some of the findings that came from that study by researchers Ilya Dichev and Troy Janes. They concluded that the annualized difference between new moon and full moon returns is on the magnitude of 5 to 8%. They write, although the daily variation can be huge, the lunar indicator was even stronger outside the US on the order of 7 to 10% annualized. The same article shares the results found by other researchers as well that Kathy Yuan, Lu Zhang, and Kiao Kiao Zhu also formerly of the University of Michigan, analyzed the stock markets of 48 countries. They constructed an equal weighted portfolio and evaluated portfolio. The return for the new moon period over the full moon period was three to 5% annualized. The researchers declared that the lunar effect is quote, independent of the January effect, the day of the week, the calendar of the month, and the holiday effect. An S&P 500 chart from the years 1950 to 2009 shows that stocks historically perform better during a lunar green period, three days after a full moon, than a lunar red period three days after a new moon, the data was gathered by tracking the lunar phases. Now, while it is intriguing for traditional markets, let's get to the good stuff because you're here to learn about the Bitcoin cycles and the crypto markets. So let's talk about the lunar cycle and Bitcoin correlation. This is where it gets interesting. Believe it or not, lunar patterns are fairly accurate when it comes to Bitcoin. In fact, some of these patterns have successfully outperformed regular trading patterns. We have here Paul X saying the Bitcoin lunar cycle traders are outperforming everybody. Red, New moon equals sell, purple full moon equals buy, this is funny ASF. And here you could see if you were to buy the purple and sell the red, you'd consistently be making really, really good money. <laughs> it's really crazy. You also have my buddy Will Clemente, guest of this channel, friend of the channel, and well-reputed on-chain metrics analyst, even capitulating here and saying, hey, here's some literal astrology for you, full moon tomorrow. Hmm, interesting, LOL. Not saying it's a coincidence, I just like finding patterns. Even the most data-driven and analytic amongst us can't help but remark on this incredible correlation between between the new moons and the full moons as they bounce back and forth with the Bitcoin price. We even see TradingView covering this topic here, showing that the BTC lunar correlation is strong, is strong within the crypto ecosystem. We also have lunar cycles not only tracking Bitcoin, but apparently being accurate in tracking other altcoins as well. This isn't super surprising because what we know for sure is that as Bitcoin pumps, it tends to lift the entire market. So Bitcoin dumping and pumping, and then of course affecting the rest of the market would make a lot of sense. But of course, zooming in on these, you can see massive pumps and almost programmatic dumps here as we get the trade-off between the lunar cycles. Pretty crazy stuff, pretty crazy stuff. So in conclusion, we see that lunar cycles have data-driven correlations to mainstream markets, as well as Bitcoin, as well as altcoins. And they've been proven out to have more success by buying and selling on the new moons and the full moons than simply hodling. It's certainly something to behold that the lunar cycles, the astrology, which so many among us believe Leave, govern our very existence and our futures seem to have such a strong effect here on the price charts. Well, look, I'll be honest, I never trade based on the lunar cycles, but I can't help but get a kick out of this. And if only, all it does is reinforce an already strong inclination that you've made based on your research and fundamental analysis, then so be it. But if there's any alpha or edge that I can help bring to you, whether it be right here in the computer or in the stars, I'm gonna go ahead and try to root that out and find it. Now, personally, the way I Invest is extremely long-term focused. I use my knowledge about internet culture, data, business, and I form my hypotheses about the future of crypto and this industry. It's what led me to NFTs and video games years ago, way, way before these industries started to emerge as the dominant use case for crypto and blockchain. By having a data-driven approach to the market, you will always outperform, even if you might have to wait a significantly long amount of time before your hypotheses are proven out. The reality is, is that the lunar cycles are just just so interesting that I couldn't help but cover them here. Let me know in the comment section below if you enjoyed this video. And of course, smash that like button if you learned a little something about the future that's written in our stars and the moon itself. With that said, I'm Elio Trades. You can find me on Twitter at Elio Trades. You're definitely going to want to follow me over there for some more spontaneous content and calls. With that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you very soon on the next episode.